And at the end of David's line, Yeshua the Messiah was born. Yes, the Messiah of Israel was from a line that had both Jew and Gentile converging at the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And during the Feast of Shavuot, um, being the festival of the spring wheat harvest, the priest would bring two barley loaves. We've actually got some, made some for tonight. We've actually got some, nothing like some good colour. Um, both barley loaves and leaven signify sin. And both Jews and Gentiles were born with a sin nature. Romans 3, 9. Both needed a Messiah to wash away the sins and to bring a relationship back together so they could have a relationship with Abba Father. It's during this special set appointment that the middle wall, the petition, is removed between Jew and Gentile. And the many member body of Messiah began then to assemble. And the new covenant message would be proclaimed to the Jew first, and then the rest of the world would hear the message of salvation and come to know the Jewish Messiah, as the lost sheep of Israel are ingathered and restored. Please pray that at this harvest festival, the Lord of the harvest, Adon HaKitzur, will send forth more laborers into the harvest field, and that the harvest of souls into his kingdom will be plentiful. Yeshua said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. That was 2,000 years ago. And nothing's much changed since then because not enough people are opening their mouth about who they serve and honour. It says, ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field before it's too late. May your Shavuot be filled to overflowing with the spirit of the living God. May each of us be transformed by his power, by his love, by his mercy and his forgiveness and extend the same grace that we have received to all those who are around us. And as we celebrate Shavuot, let us remember that every person counts. Every day counts. Every component of creation counts. And we should be counting our blessings that we were given the Torah and the Ruach Hagadash, without which nothing would count. Let us open, be open to all he has for us, earnestly seeking the gifts, so that we will be more effectively op able to operate as disciples in his community and our community. And I finish with and if you haven't experienced the Ruach's immersion in your life, seek him with all your being, and he will answer you. Likewise, if you've never asked Yeshua into your life, being born again, that's where it starts. You must be born again. Let his Spirit breathe into you. To do that, you've got to open your mouth, open your heart, open your whole being so that he will flood it. But you will receive power when the Ruach Hagadash, the Holy Spirit, comes upon you.